Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. If you are required to collect sales tax from customers, you must also make periodic payments of the sales tax you have collected to the appropriate taxing authorities. QuickBooks gives you three ways to view the amount of your sales tax liability. You can either use the Sales Tax Liability Report, you can view the Sales Tax Payable Register, or you can use the Pay Sales Tax Window to view your sales tax liability amounts. Now in addition to this basic information, you also have two sales tax reports you can use to show information about the sales tax owed. The sales tax liability report provides complete information about the sales tax the company owes for a specified time period. It will show for the date range selected the total taxable sales, total non-taxable sales, and the total amount of sales tax owed to each taxing agency. QuickBooks displays your sales tax liability report on an accrual basis unless you have changed the default setting in the sales tax category within the preferences window. To view the sales tax liability report, select either reports, vendors and payables, and then sales tax liability from the menu bar, or select vendors, sales tax, and then sales tax liability from the menu bar to open the report. Another report that can be useful when dealing with sales tax is the sales tax revenue summary. This report shows where your sales tax revenue is coming from. It shows the sources of all taxable and non-taxable transactions broken down by individual sales tax codes. You can view this report by selecting either Reports, then Vendors and Payables, then Sales Tax Revenue Summary, or by selecting Vendors, then Sales Tax, and then Sales Tax Revenue Summary from the menu bar. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.